Hey there toy fans, Colin here again with a brand new LEGO review and today I am super excited to get my hands on one of the new Indiana Jones sets which has been a revived theme from LEGO. This is one of the most nostalgic themes I remember building when I was younger. I would build the huge hidden Temple of Doom statues and the big buildings. I loved it. The Crystal Skull, everything having to do with LEGO Indiana Jones, I'm a fan of. And here it is again in the new form. We've got this awesome fighter plane chase scene, a really cool modern rendition of a classic Indiana Jones car and also a very modern rendition of this fighter plane with cool little play features on it and of course that spinning rotor in the front. This build is a heck of a fun time to put together. Nothing too complicated, nothing too insane. That age rating of 8 plus is perfect. I think that any young person is going to get a great time out of this set and any old person as well that's a fan of Indiana Jones. They do a great job bringing the movie to life here, bringing that story into the real world and I think I just love this set. I'm a big fan of it. So this set has 387 pieces. A lot of them are going to be going into the building of this plane and this car here, of course. And then you've got a few pieces going into this nice little road sign detail here. There would be two stickers for these, a little warding sign on top and a sign pointing towards Berlin on the bottom. But I don't particularly like applying stickers to my Lego sets. Uh, there's a few as uh, other ones as well. You would get a door texture on the side of the doors here, a nice little sticker for that, and then some damage to the plane, or rather some just some, some markings on the plane as well. But super duper cool set without the stickers anyway. I'm a huge fan of the way Lego looks in its purest form, so that's usually the way I like to keep it. But talking about some of these details, we've got Indiana Jones and Henry Jones Sr. minifigures right up here in the front. We've got an awesome Indiana Jones minifigure He's got his iconic whip right there. He's got printed legs with a nice little holster for his revolver as well as that super nice jacket and tied uh, nice little button up shirt underneath it. A fun detail is actually that this isn't a hat and hair combo, but rather it is a hat and hair combo in the sense that it's all one molded piece. I don't know if you guys can see that very well on this camera. It's super small, but this hat right here has Harry's, uh, sorry, Harry. <laughs> it has Indiana Jones hair right inside the actual hat, which is super duper cool and a nice detail that I was happy to see. And on top of that, we've got Harry Jones Sr. over on the right here. And he's got his pith helmet on, and you can take that off to reveal that he's just got a normal Lego head underneath, no hair at all. And he's also holding some sort of a journal or notebook type tile over there, a nice little printed tile on the side for you to include. No printed legs on this one, but a very cool uh, minifigure nonetheless. As well as that, in the cockpit of our of our fighter jet right here, you've got a fighter jet pilot, a super cool generic minifigure. He's got his goggles on to go over his head. They pull down from the helmet. A really, really cool set. A really, really cool minifigure as well. That whole cockpit is full of printed little pieces there with the speedometer and also like a sort of gauge on the right side. You've even got the little lever in the middle to pilot the thing. Super cool. As well as that, that's not the only detail. These right here on the wings are tile shooters. These things will launch tiles for you. I'll go ahead and do one of them right now. Oh man, that thing went flying. It hit the wall all the way on the other side of the studio. These things have a lot of power built into them. Super clever, uh, super clever tile shooting mechanism from Lego and a very satisfying build to put together all around. The gears on the bottom or the wheels on the bottom, really satisfying. This whole thing goes around nicely. It can be tra it can be trafficked anywhere on any sort of build and I think it looks great. They've even got those flames coming out the side so that if you're flying through the air, you can have that flaming kind of look to see if maybe it's damaged or maybe it's just going so fast. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do, the play details are there for you to choose what you want to do with them. As well as that, there's a nice little trunk in the back of this here uh, little SUV type Hummer car and inside you've got an umbrella and a revolver uh, for Indy to use as well as that there's also this super cool little suitcase piece right here that I've never seen before a little openable suitcase that a minifigure can carry and it fits right perfectly into a little tiny slot right behind the driver and passenger seat of the car really nice detail I'm a big fan of this set I think it was an awesome foray back into the Indiana Jones line I'm a huge fan of this set series and I can't wait to see what other the ones they're coming out with in the future. So I've got a little dart to find and you guys have a set to build. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have as much fun as I did putting it together and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. You can click over here to watch a random video from my channel or click over here to watch the most recent video from earlier this week. Thanks again. If you liked the video, make sure you please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.